Okay, so we are gonna start on the very first page, the very first layout. So I've got my, uh, my base page prepared. Remember that I'm using 110 pound paper for this. It's pretty thick, but it's not as thick as chipboard. It's not a chipboard album, but I do want it to be a very thick page because they are going into a three ring binder. I've got them prepared with the reinforcement strip, okay? And the first page, of course, will be on the right because this is the front inside cover over here. And then you turn it like that, okay? And then anytime I do interactive elements on these pages, I'm just gonna use my typical cardstock, whatever I would usually use for interactive elements within my mini albums, okay? So on this page, I have picked out a nice wood panel for the base. And then I wanna do a flap over here that opens up to the right. And we will have pictures on top of it and underneath of it. So, so I need a flap that measures 11 inches long and I'm cutting it to four and three quarters wide. Okay, and then we are going to, we are going to take that and score it at one half inch. miter those okay so we're not gonna adhere this down yet first thing we want to do is get our flap on okay all right so Okay, so this is my base. This can safely be glued on now. We wanna make sure it's a good fit. I'm gonna, well, no, I don't, don't think I need to trim it, but. Yes, I need to trim it just a smidge. So I will not glue that on yet, actually, because we are gonna use magnets on this page, so we don't wanna glue that on yet, but we're just gonna leave it there. This can safely be adhered down, and I did not, oh, I cut that too short. Okay, so I need to recut this piece. So decide what you wanna use to mat the top of this flap. It needs, I like little 1 8 inch borders, and since this is four and a quarter, this piece needs to be four and 1 8 Okay, so that will go there, and I can go ahead and adhere that down. Okay, so I want some kind of a border going down this. And um, I know I want photos coming down here somehow, and then they will, the back side will adhere to this with a magnet. I also want some half circles over here. 
with these two design papers. And we have some other design elements here. Okay, so let's see how I wanna do this. Alright, so I know I like these size circles, so I think I'm going to take them and I'm, do, I'm going to cut out my paper, okay? Okay. Alright, so... <clears throat> so I am just kind of laying things out where I think I might like them, okay? And then I will, I'm gonna indicate where I wanna cut the edge of that circle and where I wanna cut the edge of that circle. Okay, and let's see here. I'm going to cut a strip off of this paper and I'm gonna be using this, <laughs> this dog chewed border punch um, for a border for this flap here. Okay, so I probably want about, Yeah, I'll cut my strip to about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Of course, it's gonna be 11 inches uh, long. just mat the other side. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do there. It looks pretty even to me, I think. Okay, so then we can just decide what we want to mat for that um, side of the flap. Okay, so we still need to adhere that down at some point, but not yet. Let's figure out where we want these to go exactly. And I know I wanna put a flower right here to cover up cover up like the corners of these two, but they can't stick to this piece. Otherwise, <laughs> the flap won't open.
So I am matting each of my, I'm gonna put uh, decorative matting on the photo mats. Okay, I think I like that. So <clears throat> I'm going to adhere these two together where I want them. All right, I have to stop that. <laughs> I'm shaking my whole camera. All right, and then I will adhere these two. <clears throat> this just kind of helps me figure out where that, where that straight line is, at which point I do not want to apply glue might be an easier way to do that. Oops. Let's go down a little bit. Okay, I fixed my camera. It shouldn't shake anymore. <clears throat> okay, so then uh, we, let's go ahead and get this one on where we want it. So that's gonna go there. Now we can go ahead and get magnets on these so that they stay. Okay, so I will remove the base decorative paper. I'm gonna put a magnet on the top right about there, the top photo mat. And I am gonna put one over here somewhere. Hmm. Actually, I think I will I think I will do it yeah. okay I'm gonna do it here because I think I will probably just mat this to about right I will mat this whole flap to right about here okay Then we can just shut that. And now when we open that up again, our other magnets are in place. 
and we can adhere this down. All right, so I'm gonna get my hot glue gun heated up. I'm gonna adhere that there. Okay, we can <clears throat> adhere these down. And I have a little heart over here I might do something with. All right, I'm gonna glue him down. I should say her. <laughs> <clears throat> I do want her overlapping the photo mat. I like that look. Okay, so she's down. And um, I think that would have been really lovely bumped up. So I think I'll do that. Okay, so my glue gun is heating up. I am going to mat back here. And I may as well just keep the same, well, that one was cut too short. And before I put any kind of hot glue on this, I just want to make certain that I am protecting um, down under here. So I'm going to take like some kind of a scrap paper and put it there. Okay. And then I'm putting the glue right about there. So it's probably going to go through. <laughs> yep, perfect. It's gonna go through the, uh, the border, which is fine. <clears throat> well, there you have it. This is my first page. And you could um, you could do some photo mats here. I, I don't know. I, I'll figure out if I want to do anything else. But this is, <laughs> we're basically done with the first layout. You could put some sentiments here. Um, 
all kinds of pictures can still go here. I definitely want to keep the wood panel showing from the front. So if you decide once you open this flap to put anything else on here, I would make sure it stays hidden behind this flap. So you could do something here, but you definitely don't want to junk up the wood panel <clears throat> from this view because that would ruin the look. I think it would. Maybe you wouldn't. That's fine. 